Hi everyone, Father Tony here with this week's chapel message. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about Halloween, that holiday that's coming up this Saturday. Halloween is a really interesting holiday. Uh, today we think of Halloween as purely a secular holiday, one with costumes, haunted houses, parties, and trick-or-treating, and lots and lots of candy. When we trace Halloween's origins, though, we find it has its roots in European religious traditions, both Christian and pagan. In Christianity, Halloween is part of the three-day observance of All Hallowed Tide. It begins with Halloween, which is just a contraction of Hallow's Eve, and then it's followed by All Saints Day on November 1st, a day to commemorate all the saints of the church and concludes with All Souls Day on November 2nd, a day when we remember and honor and pray for those loved ones who have died. And the practice of setting aside a day commemorating all the saints and remembering those who have died in the previous year actually began very early in Christianity. It's believed that it was originally observed in the spring. As Christianity began to spread into Northern Europe and into the British Isles, it appears that the date was eventually moved so that it would coincide with the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain, which is halfway between the fall equinox and the winter solstice. Samhain was seen as a liminal time when the boundary between this world and the other world could more easily be crossed which meant that the spirits could more easily come into our world. So offerings of food and drink were often left outside for them in order to appease them and ensure the health and well-being of the people, the crops, and the livestock. And the souls of the dead were also thought to revisit their homes, seeking hospitality. Feasts were held where the souls of dead relatives were invited to attend and a place was set at the table for them. Because of this common theme of remembering and honoring the dead, the church thought it might make sense to move its commemoration to align with the pagan one. Now, this combining of religious festivals and customs is called religious syncretism, and it's actually very common as new religions are introduced into a culture. If you're familiar with the Mexican holiday of Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, you know that it's a holiday where people gather in their homes and at graveyards to remember and celebrate their loved ones who have died. And this holiday is another example of religious syncretism. Now, sometimes Dia de los Muertos is incorrectly referred to as Mexican Halloween because it takes place around the same time as Halloween and I suppose because of the skull and skeleton imagery that's a common theme in both holidays, but they aren't the same thing. Dia de los Muertos is really the syncretism of the observance of All Souls Day and ancient Aztec festivals celebrating the dead. All of these holidays, Halloween, All Saints and All Souls Day, Samhain, and Dia de los Muertos each have their own distinct customs and traditions, but they all share one thing in common besides dates on a calendar, and that is the deeply held belief across almost all religions and cultures that there is something important about remembering, celebrating, and honoring our loved ones who have died. I know that Halloween like everything else in our lives, is going to look different this year because of COVID-19. You may not have the opportunity to keep some of the traditions that you're accustomed to, like going to costume parties or haunted houses. Perhaps this year you might start a new tradition. Whether you're a person of faith or not, maybe this weekend is an opportunity to spend time with family remembering those loved ones who you no longer see, lighting a candle for them, sharing stories from their lives, or eating their favorite foods. And if nothing else, sit down and watch the movie Coco. We've probably watched it at least 20 times in our house, and it's still a favorite. 
But whatever you do, I hope that you have a safe and happy Halloween weekend. And I will see you next week. God bless.